So yeah, this may come across as unexpected, unorthodox, or just plain weird that a guy like me is reviewing Lush products. Go ahead, call me a sellout. Your insult is my dream. When you're in the mall with your girlfriend, it's a great reminder of how much of an easily annoyed, uninterested curmudgeon you are. Would rather be at home, playing video games, or pretending you know how to fix a lawnmower. The way I usually go about mall trips is, it's like I'm at a motorcycle accessory shop and I'm helping pick out cool cosmetic parts or outfits for something that I'm gonna ride. So get in there, suck it up, stop being a pussy. Cause something good might come out of it. Such as the product I will eventually get around to reviewing. When guys like me walk into a Lush store, it can be a surreal experience. And you never quite know what's gonna happen. Usually a sea of slightly overweight, glitter dipped, pastel plated young women lining up to sniff urinal cakes and be shown the ways of witchery in big silver tubs. Then out of nowhere an over enthusiastic being appears before you, of which you're not even sure it's from this planet, let alone male or female. Once you do your best to break free of the tentacles of the green haired metal faced monster trying to help you, you can make your way to the men's section. But be on the lookout and don't blink because you will surely miss it. In the microscopic men's section you will find beard oil. Ignore that. If you're a homosexual, go right ahead. A quick scan will bring you to this product, the Kalamazoo Beard and Facial Wash. I know, I know, you already feel your man card slipping from your grasp. Not to worry, for taking care of one's face is taking care of one's dignity. It's a little spendy, but a little goes a long way. So pull out your change purse, pay the lady, and get the hell out of there. Taking a quick glance at the ingredients, it seems to be an apparent witch's brew of chemicals and extracts. This hero was made in Canada, but most of the ingredients seem to come from tropical places. Maybe there's some ethical concerns there, but I'm a capitalist, so that means I don't care. With the name Kalamazoo, I'm not sure who, what audience they were trying to attract here. Maybe if you're going to a circus and you want your face to be clean. Kalamazoo beard and facial wash, almond oil, apricot kernel oil, and kupuaku butter will turn you into a total softy. What? Not sure what kukuaku butter is, but sounds a bit jizzy to me. My theory is it's the gays trying to inadvertently jizz on straight guys' faces. How to use massage over beard and face to create a rich lather, then rinse off and pat dry. Top, top tip, you don't need a beard to use it. This creamy wash is perfect for smooth little girl baby pussy little pansy faces. Good to know. Kupuaku butter is nourishing and moisturizing for both hair and skin. Sure it is, gays. These guys practice fighting animal testing. Um, I don't know how you animal lovers feel about that, but that makes me a little bit uneasy. Make things bright and bushy with cleansing pineapple juice and softening jojoba oil. The freaking words that these liberals come up with, I, I don't understand. All jokes aside, I was hesitant about this product at first, but my girlfriend literally shoved it in my face and I tried it and I gotta say it's pretty amazing stuff. After I use it, my face is as soft as a baby's bottom after 2000 grit sandpaper. And it has that cool, almost sorbet-like smell to it. It's a lemony, it's, I don't know, I wanna either bathe in it or eat it, shoot a line of it. Just the smell alone, I'm not sure how many chicks you'll get, but it, if you already have a woman, it'll keep her happy. Pro tip, you can also use it on your bull bag. This is a little menthol -y minty, so watch out for that. Okay, listen guys, if you want a product that'll make your girlfriend or wife happy by just the smell alone, or if you're incredibly lonely and you want to feel cheeks that feel like a woman's cheeks, but they're actually yours, give this stuff a try. If you're afraid that the guys will make fun of you, for using a Lush product? Simple answer is, it's none of their goddamn business. Also, your girl goes in there, or your friend who's a girl goes in there all the time anyway, send her in to go get it. Send her to do something for you for a change. Put your pride aside, waltz right in there, and enjoy the finer things in life, such as a soft face and a nice lemony minty smell emitting from your giant Greek nose. One thing to take into account is after you use this stuff, you're gonna have to put on a little bit of lotion because it really does clean the hell out of your skin and it'll start to dry up and tighten up if you don't do something about it. it took me a while to put that together because I've never said anything like that before. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you like this video, do whatever it is you do when you like a video. 
run around in circles and scream, hit the subscribe button, whatever. I don't get, I don't care. I'm not saying the F word in this video, so have a great frickin' day and keep your bitches out of the kitchen. Talk to you in the next one.